Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah, very, very lovely and just an exciting evening, yeah. Just getting the job was amazing. I just went into JJ's office. I didn't really know what he was looking for and just listened to him and had a few clues and just started improvising a bit with him. And then he just gave me the job. So that was like, and then to finally be on that set with him and see how he makes the magic happen um, was just wonderful. Just brings a lot of energy. Uh, lots of ideas, of just feels very clear about what he wants and keeps asking for more and more, giving me more improvised, giving me more ideas and makes you feel comfortable to offer up even the most bizarre thing that you'll, OK, it's OK, it's not good, good, more, give me, and you, you, get, you get comfortable with, with this way and I, I like that, that way of working. I really don't know. I haven't seen it and I never got to read it all. So um, it's, uh, when I see it tonight, I can tell you after that. <laughs> Well, I'm so excited that it turned out to be really good. You'd imagine if it ended with, with a whimper, it would have been really sad. But this one goes out with such a bang, and actually goes bang, 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 pretty much all the way through, that I, I personally feel very, very satisfied, n not only to have been in it, not only to have had such a, a fun part, not only to have worked with such a fun, lovely family team, whether behind the camera or my mates around me there. It was a gorgeous ending, and I'm not sad. I mean, maybe in a few months, a year, or whatever, I think, Oh, I want to do another one. But right now, no, you know. Uh, it, 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 no, it, it, no, not at all, actually. It, it just felt right that we were doing the conclusion, and it's the end of a particular set of stories. So, uh, no, there was no kind of doom. In fact, the opposite. Everybody had a joyous time. Um, global appeal of Star Wars is probably the most, the question I get asked most often, apart from is it not in the costume, of course. Um, George Lucas did a lot of research, a lot of thinking about ancient myths and all that, father-son relationship with an evil, we all know that. And he also then did a magic thing, which was pop very strange characters all together. I mean, you could, you know, Planet of the Apes was all, all about apes. Well, in, in this one, you basically had one Wookiee sort of thing, and then you had a little droid, and a big droid, and a princess, and you had a uh, Darth Vader type thing. He mixed and matched all sorts of different elements in a, rather like a chef creating a a new menu, you know. Um, and then, at the time, there weren't really family entertainment films, I think, happening. Jaws had come out the year before. The, there was a kind of natural, strange, elemental moment that happened when Star Wars came out and people grabbed it. And you could only see it in the movie theatres then. There was no video. And people had this collective experience which actually helped bond the whole thing together and grow it bigger than it really was. Well, I think I think I've taught me that uh, I'm more <laughs> tenacious than, than I, I, I I have put up with quite a lot. Too. Uh, I kind of stuck with it, you know. Um, and one of the things I like about him is his uh, his loyalty, his sense of loyalty. And that, uh, as a human being, I have that, and I, I kind of share it. What I have loved is is finding out recently how much 3PO is meant to people who sometimes find social interaction with humans quite quite difficult and, and sometimes they write to me on old Twitter or whatever uh, how he was their friend on, on the screen they, they really felt a, a kind of connection with him and that's a, that's a side I, I didn't realize was happening so I'm very pleased about that JJ has brought everything to this one he is a super genius lovely guy I've absolutely adored working with him. He's come in, he's brought all the pieces together, he's made new, pe new pieces to join in, and he's delivered a, a wonderful Christmas present. Believe me, I've seen it twice. No, it's been very, very exciting and working with J.J. Abrams in particular was uh, uh, a real highlight for me. Well, he's got a great imagination and uh, and he's uh, he's full uh, full of ideas. Not really. I you know I, I've been sitting this kind of living with this with Lando for 40 years. You know when I run around and do these conventions, uh, I've been doing those for quite a few years. So uh, Lando is uh, it seems to be in my life consistently. Well, I don't know. We'll see tonight. You know, uh, I think it's a, a, a. I saw it last night, and it's uh, it's got all of the high adventure, 
but it also has a lot of uh, a lot of depth to it. Well, it, that's very difficult. I mean, it, it, it's always everything about it is always very interesting. Working with people like George Lucas, people like J.J. Uh, Abrams, all of those uh, wonderful performers. So it's always a uh, uh, very interesting. No, oh, it's great. You know, I you know uh, it's a uh, you know Star Wars is a phenomenon. I think it's. Not like anything else that's come along throughout the years, uh, but I think it, it not only is it uh, it has all of the the action the thrills, but uh, I think it touches on the kinds of concerns that we have when it comes to dealing with the dark side and the light side outside of oneself, but also dealing with those aspects in, within ourselves, you know, the uh, collective unconscious, so to speak. Well, it feels very satisfying, which the film is, uh, but it's also quite emotional. You know, we're saying goodbye is not an easy thing, and while it's done, I think, in a great way, a very respectful way, both to the audience and to the characters, and to what George Lucas created, it's still a little bit hard. I was going to say, cold and wet. <laughs> it's great. You know, Star Wars has always been near and dear to the hearts of people from the UK. You know, so many of the films have been shot here, and so much of the film has been shot here. So it's great to pay homage to the folks here who love this so much. I think there's a lot about it. I think even though it takes place in worlds that are not particularly familiar to us, the stories and the emotions, uh, the characters all are familiar. It's relatable on so many levels. Well, we wanted someone who would create a film that would be satisfying unto itself, but also satisfying to fans who have watched all eight of them before this, who have been Star Wars fans for 42 years, and someone who could really tap into the emotion of what this means, and he certainly did that. It's been great to work with him. Well, um, obviously on the box office side, over $10 billion in global, global box office, $6 billion films. That's been great. Opening two Star Wars lands in Florida and California. Launching Disney Plus in the United States, we did in November. And there's so much we can point to that we're grateful for. Closing the deal for 21st Century Fox, right a year. Yes, nice way to go out very thrilled. It's very exciting. My family are here somewhere. And it's nice to be home. I mean, there's a lot of story. So I think you sort of, if you, like, I've watched it now twice, and you do get different things from different watches. But on first impression, it's a big, fun adventure, loads of laughs, uh, and with a lot of heart. You played uh, Rain Out for, for three films. What have you learned from, from playing her? What was she meant to you? I mean, she's meant an awful lot because I was, you know, a jobbing actor and I still am a jobbing actor, but it's given me stability for six years. It's been an amazing working environment. So that's been a real blessing because I understand how it feels to go to work and be made to feel really good and like what you have to say is important and what you have to offer is important. Um, and playing someone who's like really hopeful in a dark time is, is great. Jordan was amazing. It was amazing. Casually going for dinner with the King and Queen of Jordan, as you do, you know? It was amazing. Big Star Wars fans? I don't think so. It's that thing that royals do that they're like, hmm, so interesting, and you're like, is it? But it was so beautiful. We got to go to Petra. Oh, Jordan's an amazing country. Because I think it's about like family and about connections and love, and there's sort of something for everyone, and it's always been about generational love like mother to daughter, father to son, like whatever that may be. And that sort of passed down to us in this one. It just feels like a big connection of people. I enjoyed it a lot, you know, it was returning to the same family and, and uh, kind of knowing everybody there, including Richard, who I had uh, worked with before. So um, yeah, it was delighted, delighted. I, like, look, it's it's like there are fans of Star Wars all over the world. It's a very special thing. I, I kind of can't believe it. And this is the only premiere I'm coming to, so this is uh, this is my night to really enjoy it, and I, I'm loving it. Yeah, loving it. I uh, I think I was trying to think earlier on about 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 what it is, and all I can think of is that it was made with love. That's the only sentence that keeps coming to my head. Like, 
we took it seriously and we did our best and um, yeah, yeah. Lots of them, you know, like, like I think um, Adam Driver told a joke one day, that's one of my favourite jokes, and uh, that, that, while he was in full costume, that was one of my favourite moments. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with that, that was a good moment. It was strange, I was happy, you know, like it's the, end of, it's the end of the story, so I was happy for that. So it felt right, and yet I also felt sad. It's magic, it's that feeling, it's like Christmas time, it's that feeling that you, it's just like nothing else, it just makes you excited. Uh, it's great to be back uh, in this amazing city uh, where we shot the film and, you know, many friends and favorite places and so I'm, I'm always happy to be in London. Uh, I, there's a lot of action. The, the group is together uh, on the adventure. It's, I think, a, a, an emotional story. I think it's hopefully, you know, moving and surprising and thrilling and all the things that you get. And the idea is you leave the theater feeling better than when you got there. It was one of the, the, the things that lured me back was knowing I get to work with these incredible actors again. Uh, they're extraordinary and the, and the crew is the same. Uh, you know, there, there were too many favorite memories to, to recount, but uh, every day there was always something that was, you know, I can't believe we get to do this, you know, in it. I think the thing about Star Wars is it gives you a sense of, of infinite possibility and hope, and it's, uh, there's just a beautiful spirit to it that you know, I recognized when I was 10 years old and, you know, even the idea of the Force and, and, and what it means to have faith in something bigger than yourself. And Star Wars is bigger than all of us. Uh, well, I, I think that there is, with Rey and, and, and Kylo Ren, there is a sort of yin-yang, light-dark uh, component. And I think each of them, you know, clearly one is light, one is dark, but they have a little piece of, of each other in, in them. And I think that that's something that, you know, that, that that balance needs to constantly be attended to and, and worked on. It doesn't sort of happen and then is forever. It has to be maintained, and that's what this, that's, this, this film's about. Oh, well, I, I, again, I think that, that, that fans feel all the stuff I, we were just talking about, you know, that sense of, of hope and possibility, and I think it's a beautiful thing. I feel good being back in the UK. I get to sleep in my own bed. Um, I want to be on land for a, a strong amount of time, so I'm excited about that. But to bring this movie home is, is super important and feels surreal. Um, and I just, I, I like screening, I like the screenings in London, man, because Londoners, man, we're verbal, we can be loud, and, and I think this is going to be a really, really fun night. I just think it's an epic conclusion. There's a lot in there. It's going to take you two or three views to really, really take it in. Um, but there's the feels and, and, and the connection between family and friends is super important in this one. The ensemble feel as well between myself, Daisy and Oscar is super cool, man. So I can't wait for people to see it. I mean, for me, Finn, what's interesting about Finn, he has developed as, 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 as I develop. So there's a, as I grow, Finn grows. And in watching this movie, I was like, oh, from Force Awakens, like, I feel like a baby in Force Awakens. There's so much growth between those three films. Um, and to know that my growth informs the character in that way is, is pretty, pretty cool to me. Multiple favorite moments. We had a joy. We shot in Jordan, in the desert. We had an amazing time. We were laughing. I, I feel like I laughed through this entire experience. And this is the most happy I've been shooting a Star Wars movie. I think because it's just such a cultural phenomenon. People pass this on to their kids. You know, you, you sit your, your son and your daughter down, you watch this, the original Star Wars for the first time, and that in itself means that it's more than just a movie. And people see themselves in these movies too. Um, and it's an epic space opera, and I guess people just love that. I'm very excited. Uh, couldn't, can't, can't wait for everyone to see the film, to really take it in, how, how much emotion, how much finality, how much like uh, epicness is, is packed within these uh, just over two hours that this movie is. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful achievement. I think it's the, the fact that Star Wars has always been about uh, things we can control, which is uh, which is our, our, our fate in the world. You know, we're, we're, we're always in, uh, uh, we control our own destiny, sort of. So Star Wars has always been, I think, about that. We, we, we have to uh, remain hopeful and uh, fight what we believe in. So that's, that's, that's something that resonates with me as well. I think it's uh, Chewbacca's loyalty to his friends. The fact that you can uh, interpret what Chewbacca is saying. So you have to connect the dots in order to realize what Chewbacca is saying. So that's, 
So it's like your dog. You're, you're, you you want to know what that dog is thinking, but it won't give you any clues. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> so I think that space dog uh, idea uh, is, is strong in Chewbacca. Plus, he's a, he's a good pilot and a mechanic, so he's a, he's a useful guy. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, working at the Wadi Rum Desert uh, in Jordan, with the, the scenery was so beautiful. We, we, we tried to keep sheltered from the sun uh, and, uh, and, uh, and keep cool, of course. And that, I, I just remember like uh, sitting in that uh, little speeder with Daisy and just uh, enjoying what we were doing, filming a Star Wars film. I love I love JJ. He uh, he he. For me, he doesn't really give that much direction. He just waits for me to do what I do, and then if he starts walking towards me, that's when I know I've done something wrong and we need to reconsider. But. Uh, <laughs> But uh, for me, it's yeah, it's uh, it's been wonderful getting back to work with him. Uh, he brings such eloquence and, and human humanity to these stories, and he has got a, such a uh, uh, a radar for human emotion. So he can he really knows how to uh, uh, connect with the actors and get the story across. I think it did to a large extent because we knew that we're bringing so many things to a resolution. So it, it had that kind of bittersweet feel to it, but at the same time, real excitement. And it was a real utter joy to make, a real pleasure every day with our cast and our crew. No, Spending our last days with them was quite bittersweet, but now that we get to share the film, we are very excited about that and reunite here in London. JJ's a huge amount of fun. That's what he brings to the set almost every day. And I think it infuses a really nice energy in the process of making the film. He also has such a big heart as a storyteller, and I think he's really, you know, put that spirit into this film. And it's got just such a big heart and sweetness and humanity that is very much JJ. I will say the very first day we had Billy D. Williams on the set was pretty spectacular. Everybody went quiet and just all eyes were on him. He is pretty hard to not, you know, look at as an actor. He's just so charismatic and fantastic and we were all pretty inspired by that day. I think it's because um, it brings people together in a way that I think a lot of films don't do so much anymore. And just, you know, that sense of community and, and, you know, the fact that we're releasing around Christmas time, people can go with their families, their friends, and I think that kind of spirit is, is really very much a part of Star Wars. Can the light exist without the dark? Very good question. Well, that's the best thing about, you know, what George created with Star Wars, is this, is this conversation about that very thing, good and evil, in the galaxy, but in ourselves. And I think that this last movie really does capture that saga and that spirit in the journey that Ray and Kylo have. So, we'll see. I feel good being back in the UK. I get to sleep in my own bed. Um, I want to be on land for a, a, a strong amount of time, so I'm excited about that. But to bring this movie home is, is super important and feels surreal. Um, and I just, I, I like screening. I like the screenings in London, man, because Londoners, man, we're verbal, we can be loud, and, and I think this is going to be a really, really fun night. I just think it's an epic conclusion. There's a lot in there. It's going to take you two or three views to really, really take it in. Um, but there's the feels and, and, and the connection between family and friends is super important in this one. The ensemble feel as well between myself, Daisy and Oscar is super cool, man. So I can't wait for people to see it. I mean, for me, Finn, what's interesting about Finn, he has developed as, 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 as I develop. So there's a, as I grow, Finn grows. And in watching this movie, I was like, oh, from Force Awakens, like, I feel like a baby in Force Awakens. There's so much growth between those three films. Um, and to know that my growth informs the character in that way is, is pretty, pretty cool to me. Multiple favourite moments. We had a joy. We shot in Jordan, in the desert. We had an amazing time. We were laughing. I, I feel like I laughed through this entire experience. And this is the most happy I've been shooting a Star Wars movie. I think because it's just such a cultural phenomenon. People pass this on to their kids. You know, you, you sit your, your son and your daughter down, you watch the, the original Star Wars for the first time, and that in itself means that it's more than just a movie. And people see themselves in these movies too. Um, and it's an epic space opera, and I guess people just love that. Amazing. I mean, to be a part of a 
Star Wars movie. It's uh, being a part of, uh, you know, a uh, cinematic history. So I feel special. It feels so special. Nerve wracking. I mean, you know, I, I have such childhood memories of that music and the way I felt when I first saw those movies. So it's enormous pressure, but luckily JJ's so warm and likable. And it was all okay. I think, it ha I think it's just for everyone. It's not, you know, high art that like, talks down to people. It's not just for one specific group. It's for everybody. And I think that's part of its genius. Uh, well, we can't tell too much, but I, I think um, my introduction tells a little bit about tells a little bit about uh, Poe's background, and uh, she has a bit of a shady past. Well, I hope I hope they feel good about the the wrapping up of everything. I think JJ hit a lot of the main points, and I was completely satisfied. So I hope everyone else will be. Really terrifying, but I was so excited. I'd spent months training and it was kind of those throw yourself into the moment kind of situation. So, yeah, I made it through, which is the main thing. <laughs> so, Jana is this warrior woman who lives on an oceanic planet and uh, she is willing to fight for what's right. So much, so much. You know what's crazy? It's the first time I watched it. I actually forgot that about some bits. So the second time I watched it, there were more bits I had. I was so overwhelmed by the first time, and it's just like there's so much in this film for the audiences to enjoy and to grasp on. I, I think it's a brilliant piece of work. If I say so myself, it's my favourite out of the trilogy. And um, yeah, I think people are gonna absolutely adore this film. It's a huge support base here. It's also my hometown. You know, like, I, I walk these streets all the time, and so to be here doing a premiere feels like something huge for me, personally, and I think, you know, there's so many Londoners. London is a very diverse place, and we're, Star Wars is diverse in its very nature, so, you know, it's a great time. I think it's about contacting your inner power, and not necessarily, you know, using a force that can move things in midair, but but accessing a, a courage um, and a mindset that makes you fight for what's right, I think that's what brings people together in this. I am thrilled and chilly. Yeah, I definitely felt like uh, we were seniors about to graduate. There was that energy, and we, I think we're all trying to hold on to the, to the moment, knowing that it was the last one. There's so many. There's so many. I mean, I think the thing that I'll miss the most is working with my friends, with John Boyega and Daisy Ridley in particular. We were out in the Wadi Rum Desert filming for weeks, and uh, that was just a, an incredible, strange landscape to film in, and we just had so much fun and so much joy. Yeah, maybe, you know, listen to the ladies a little bit more when they've got, when they have advice. Um, I think they can expect a very dramatic, epic conclusion. Uh, it's overwhelming, it's emotional, and I think uh, you will immediately feel like you need to see it again to try to, to, to process it. I think what people really love about it is the fact that, uh, that they can kind of, it inspires people to make up their own stories. You know, initially it started off episode four, five, and six, so everyone was curious about what happened in one, two, and three, and so you, it really allowed people to, uh, to invent their own stories and to feel a, a real uh, intimate connection with those stories, so I think that's what it's, that's what it's done. Hopefully this movie can, continues that. Well, I'm grateful it's not raining, and uh, because they closed up the whole of Hollywood Boulevard last night in L.A., so the fact that it's not raining in Leicester Square, is, and because the films are made here, um, it feels you know, it feels like you, you've always come home again. So. Well, I've been a lifelong fan since I was 20 years old when I saw it in 1977, the first one. So I know what that feels like. And so to actually be in it is, you know, I have to pinch myself to know that it's actually happened. Uh, I thought that it would be, there'd be a green screen and everybody would be in leotards, little, you know, dots of CGI. But it was, just don't know, real, real costumes, real things that worked, lights, doors that did that, smoke machines, stormtroopers, spaceship. It was, it was amazing. Oh, evil incarnate. It's basically I'm, I'm channeling, you know, the great memory of Peter Cushing. So, you know.
I think the people that I got to work with, Adam Driver, I worked with on Girls before, and uh, Donald Gleeson is standing next to me. When you're in a company of actors as good as that, it, you know, everybody's game is lifted. Oh, I think I think it. I didn't uh, say personally, but it it very very excited. Drew all the strands of the stories together in such a cathartic and you know emotionally rewarding way at the end. So you did, you felt that it was the most honourable way for the thing to end, and it was and it's also very surprising and moving. You know, I don't think I've got words to describe how I feel about being part of this. Um, delighted, but that's not a big enough word. I'm excited, so thrilled to have uh, been able to be part of this one and all of the other Star Wars I've been involved with to date. You know, there was a certain amount of emotion uh, involved with working on this one. I mean, JJ brings such a lovely atmosphere to set when he directs. I mean, he's just such a great guy. And, um, but yeah, to know that we were making the last one, as it were, in this series is, um, is again, it was quite emotional. Similar to the experience I had working on the last Harry Potter movie, I suppose, in a way. I think working with my son, Harrison, uh, is in the movie, and uh, being going to be on set with him and kind of showing him the ropes was, was quite nice. I think it's characters and story. That's what George Lucas always said. You know, it's driven by these great characters, this amazing story set against these beautiful backdrops of space and battles and all of those wonderful special effects. But at the heart of it, it's a fun action adventure series, uh, much like those old kind of B movies of the, of the 60s. Well, I mean, I think that uh, the fans are going to be surprised. I mean, there's going to be lots of twists and turns, and, uh, you know, I think expect the unexpected with this one.